Tanya divides more or less into two parts. The first part is Perik Aleph through Perik Lamed Aleph, chapter 1 through 34. And the second part is chapter 35 through the end of Tanya, which is chapter 53. It's unofficial, this uh, divide. al Rebbe doesn't officially divide them into two, but in concept, there was a transition. What is the transition? The first 20, the first 30, uh, 34 Prakim of Tanya is very much devoted to Kikar Ve'elecha Hadavra Miyoid Beficha Ovavavcha Lasaisa. The recognition is that we are all struggling here in this world. We struggle because we have internal struggles, Nefesh Lakis versus the Nefesh Bahamas. And um, how is it that despite the struggles between the Nefesh Lakis and the Nefesh Bahamas, how is it that we can be victorious in our struggles in the areas of Machshava, Dibur Maisa, Beficha, Ovavavcha Lasaisa? So the first chapters. The first 34 chapters, the al Rebbe really gives a complete program for how it is possible for a person 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 355 days a year to be, to win the struggles that Machshava Dibra Maisa to do the proper thing. So it's very, it's that in the first, uh, in the first part of Tanya, al Rebbe there, the goal isn't to explain the why, what's behind everything, the reasons behind everything, and the larger plan. That's, we're in a very practical stage. I mean, there is some philosophy over there also, as needed, but it's mainly the practical parts of Tanya. Pedrik, Lamed, Hei, and An, the Alter Rebbe enters the, more, enters the more philosophical part of Tanya, and there the Alter Rebbe starts explaining more the significance of what we're doing and why we're doing. Because obviously knowing, knowing why we're doing and what we're doing impacts also our ability to do, to do our Avoida properly. And Dr. Rebbe introduces towards the beginning of, of, of the second part, in other words, in Perik Plam Vav, Vav, chapter, uh, chapter 36, Dr. Rebbe introduces the idea of Dira Betach this big, This big bombshell. And it is, it's, it is a big bombshell. The idea of Dira Betach that uh, the lower something is, the more that there is, um, the more Hashem has a desire for, the, Hashem has a desire specifically in this world, and this, the Alter Rebbe uses the concept of Dira B'tachtoinim to explain why it is that mitzvahs maisius are necessary. Why do we need to have mitzvahs maisius? Why do we need to have mitzvahs? Why do we have to have, to have mitzvahs maisius? Why can't we sit and learn Torah all day? Be monks. Sorry? Be monks. Be monks, yeah. deal. <laughs> why is it important? Why is it necessary to have mitzvahs maisius? And that Dira B'tachtoinim explains that uh, in order for us to impact the world, we need to do mitzvahs dafka, mitzvahs maisius, because whenever we do a mitzvah, so we're doing it with a physical item, and more, more than that, it's not only that we're doing the mitzvah with a physical item, but who is doing the actual mitzvah? Is the nefesh achayunis, the nefesh abahamis is doing the mitzvah, because the nefesh alikis works in the body through the nefesh abahamis, and when we elevate the Nefesh Bahamis, which is also Tachtoinim, right? Hashem Motzadir B'Tachtoinim, through that we elevate the whole world, as Dr. Rebbe explains at length in chapter 37. But the purpose is, the reason why we have mitzvahs is to elevate the whole world, and we need Dafka action mitzvahs because that's what counts, is the action mitzvahs. That's what Dr. Rebbe talks about from Prakim Lamed Hei, Lamed Vav, Lamed Zayin, 35, 36, 37. After the Alter Rebbe spends three prakim talking about how action mitzvahs are so important because of Dir Rebbe because the purpose and the goal of everything is that Hashem wants to have a dwelling place down here in this physical world. And for that purpose, we need to have mitzvahs, which are dafke mitzvahs ma'isiyas. The Alter Rebbe says, what's with kavana? What's with avas Hashem? What's with yiras Hashem? Why are they important? If the purpose is Dir Rebbe is there any significance at all to kavana? So in the next few prakim and prakim Lamed Ches and Lamed Tes and Mem, next three prakim, the Alter Rebbe lays out his whole theory, thesis, on why Kavana is important. And the reason why Kavana is important, Kavana, in other words, Avas Hashem and Yiras Hashem is important because they are the Godfin. Yes, they're the wings. The main thing is the actual mitzvah, the Maisa mitzvah. And if you don't do a Maisa mitzvah, all your Avas Hashem and all your years Hashem is worthless. However, 
When you do a mitzvah maizis, and that mitzvah maizis, the kavana of that mitzvah is infused with Avaz Hashem and Yiras Hashem, so then that lifts up the mitzvah maizis, and it, it causes that there's a much greater revelation of Hashem Jiratsan in that mitzvah. So that's Lamed Zayin, Lamed Ches, sorry, Lamed Ches, Lamed Tes, and Mem, and then from Mem Aleph, the Alter Rebbe says, oh, if Avaz Hashem and Yiras Hashem are so important, let me teach you how to have Avas Hashem. Let me teach you how to have Yiras Hashem. And that was the last 10 Prakim. In the last 10 Prakim, we learned at length many different levels of Yiras Hashem, many different levels of Avas Hashem. Leading up to this final Perik, Perik Nun, we had this, where we had this, um, the high, we spoke of the highest level of Avas Hashem, the level of Zav.